Hello Legends, it's your boy Lincoln. Today, we're Christmas shopping at Lakeside, which is too far away for you to see, so that failed. Hello my Legends, it's your boy Link. Welcome back to another video. And today, um, I'm going Christmas shopping at Lakeside. So Amy's working in Essex again, so it's an excuse to, you know, go do a bit of shopping. And uh, she wasn't too far from Lakeside, so I was like, Let's go Christmas shopping. We stayed in the Ibis Hotel last night. Didn't vlog any of it, but it wasn't the best experience because there was a lot of noise. Because it was really hot, so we had to have the window open because everyone had got their like, heating on like 10 million degrees. And um, this is how close to the road it was. So yeah, I really didn't sleep. I had a couple of like PTSD night terrors, which was not good. And um, now we're going to shop on the lakeside. So hopefully I can go get a McDonald's breakfast and it'll be fun. Slight problem. I'm here at 8 a.m. Nothing here opens till 10. <laughs> a typical of my luck is that, to not check that. Well, not, not my luck, my stupidity, I guess. So after speaking to the security guy, he informs me the only thing open this early is actually prep, so I guess I have to go to prep for breakfast. Prep's not really my thing, but it is open, so that is all that matters. So this is why I don't like prep. Cheese and bacon time, they put tomato in it. Why? So I've got a salted caramel hot chocolate from prep to keep me going. Also, one thing that made me laugh in there is they charge 70p for extra hot. Which makes me laugh, because I know a lot of baristas don't like doing extra hot drinks and they get annoyed at people that ask for extra hot, so, um, yeah, Pratt charging it for 70p for it's quite funny. McDonald's is open, breakfast is saved. So a slightly different McDonald's breakfast to normal because I used some rewards to get the price down, so I only had to pay two quid for this. That was a reward, flatbread, a mighty McMuffin was a reward, and I just paid for a Coke. Winning. So what was that my McDonald's breakfast? Um, just bumped into someone that watches the channel with his wife, I think. And they both watch the channel. Um, it's really nice. It's always nice to bump into you legends, so come say hi. And also, I do keep these little stickers with me, so if you bump into me, you can get yourself a little link good stick if you come say hi. So I've had my McDonald's now, all fueled up. So in the words of the immortal white chicks, let's go shopping. So we were in here earlier and the lights went on. Now it's hit 10. I've opened work, I say hit 10, it's one minute to 10. All the big shopping lights have come on. So it's actually 10 now, but as you can see, a lot of them aren't quite open yet. What's that about? My first stop of the day is JD. Also, more than 50,000 of you have watched me review these Crep Protect Crep Guards. So thank you for your support with that, I really appreciate you all. Um, they're not that great though, so don't buy them. They have, it's nice seeing them like Jordan 1's actually in stock. They've got the bread toes that I've got, so if you want the same shoes as me, come to JD at Eggside. All right, sound all sound as a pound. If you know, you know. How cool is this Avengers jersey? The Spider Man one, too. So that shop behind me, Lids, had like hundreds of hats, it was awesome. Nothing I needed, though, and also, I'm not shopping for me, I'm supposed to be buying Christmas presents. So I kind of need to like focus on buying stuff for other people, not me which is difficult. So we all famously know I hate Primark, but I feel like for Christmas shopping, there's some good options in there. Plus, this is a big one, so it might have Funko Pops. Got some cool licensed Christmas stuff, like an ugly Grinch shirt. And a Monopoly, that's perfect. Everyone plays Monopoly at Christmas, right? Oh, Subway. Merry Fourthmas, I don't know what it says, but also Jack Santa, loads of options there. I already have a Dragon Ball hoodie, but how cool is this one? Mine's black and orange, but this is orange and black, so might be an excuse to get one. Loads of different hoodies. Rick and Morty on, but this is the best one. I love a good meme reference. So they have a Primark Disney cafe here. Kind of cool if you like Disney, I guess. I thought that was Mr. Hanky, but it's a gingerbread man. If it was Mr. Hanky, I'd buy it 100%. This is genius, that's a hoodie, but it's reversible. So you have Mike Wazowski or Sully. How cool is that? If 
Primarks out here servicing all you cold Pokemon fans. Why is all the Dragon Ball Z stuff stuff I don't need? Like this is sick, all the Z fighters on. But it's all like bowls and hoodies and stuff that I don't need. Primarks now moved into large and suitcases. Look at this bad boy. I knew they did like Disney ones like them, but Sonic the Hedgehog suitcase, that's sick. I wish it was Mario, I'd have bought that. Okay, now I'm interested. I'm not sure if I need it. I, I'm not supposed to be shopping for me, but how cool would it be to have a Pikachu suitcase? Is someone actually need I'm doing need a suitcase, but is it the time? Maybe. I might get Wimpy for lunch. When was the last time you had a Wimpy? It's dead nowadays. Honestly, Wimpy is such nostalgia. I was going to get Pizza Hut buffet because like it kills a lot of time. You can sit down, relax, eat as much as you want. But Wimpy is a consideration now. If you watch my recent Channel Smith vlog, they have Toys R Us in W.A. Smith. So I'm in W.A. Smith now, but they don't have Toys R Us, but they do have some toys, so. You can see the reaction, it doesn't look good. I wanted some cool Lego. Maybe do I just buy the Rhino? I don't have any of the Mario ones yet. I feel like that's a rabbit hole once we go down, it's a problem. Also, they've got a Bulbasaur. I don't actually have a Bulbasaur plush. I'm not shopping for me today, I'm shopping for other people. Now there's a couple of things I want here but I'm scared to buy them because people might have gotten things for Christmas. The official Harry Potter yearbook comes with a Dumbledore figure I don't have. Would I have Dumbledore? What is that? Oh, it's Neville. I do have a Neville so I'm not as desperate for that one but it's cool, it's different to one I have. I want this because I really want a Cedric Diggory. They have Flying Tiger, that's often where I make my first purchase. How gangster is that? Our next target is the entertainer. Hopefully this will be entertaining. Some super cheap Funko Pops, but it's Justice League and Flash, not that cool. That's the Funko Pop selection. Quite good, but they also got over here as well. Mystic Machine's cool, I've never seen that in person yet. Oh, it's got Bugs Money in it, why is that? Oh, it's Warner Brothers 100. This one's also cool, the Orca. But nothing's cool enough for me to buy, I don't think. House of Fraser's is closing down, 20% off everything, that could be interesting. So my G-Shock battery died, so I keep looking at buying another G-Shock instead of putting a new battery in it, which is probably stupid, but I want another one. Loads of it is just empty, where everything's already been bought. Like all the perfume is like this, so there's no fragrances, 20% off. I still haven't bought anything, this is a disaster of a trip. Let's try HMP. They have the Pokemon Squishmallows. I've never watched the Squishmallow toys for the Pokemon ones, and now I'm like, Maybe I need them. Even have the fourth FX, fourth FX, fourth FX lightsabers like the elite proper like metal ones and a Mandalore ones. Darth Vader at the top, I think it is, and then Darth Revo as well, which is a super cool one. And the Hasbro helmets and stuff. But again, I'm not shopping for me. I'm shopping for other people. Huge Funko Pop selection. First time seeing Glacier on IRL, but also this is one of my first Funko Pops. And then they also pop protectors. That's good. We like that. I don't need one. I shouldn't get one, but I'm going to put a bag. Look at the Pokemon. 50% off. That can be good. We're pleased to know I finally bought something, but I can't show you what because it's a present, right? Don't want to ruin Christmas. Don't do that. There's a mad shop called Christmas Magic, which just looks like Christmas lights and trees and stuff. But I'm not in the market for any of that stuff. So cool bike though. It looks like Poundland got raided. They're the fake cane. How brilliant these fake pound land wrestlers, I think they're quality. I'm not a West Ham fan, as you all know, but got to have a look around the store, right? They sell the shirt without the sponsors on as well, I bet people love that. I actually really like this jacket, it's West Ham, so I won't buy it, but 18 quid is on sale, so good deal for you and any hammers. Got the only made in West Ham shirts as well, that's absolutely awesome. But it's not the right team for me. Made myself a little nachos to start off in Pizza Hut. Now on the pizza, but also ham and pineapple. I know what you think of home and pineapple in the comments down below. Look at this, I am an artist. Can we real with you all? I want a Rolex. Um, so you all need to hit subscribe and keep supporting the channel so one day we can actually get on. £40,400 on. one. Steep. It'd be rude not to have a little look at Foot Locker, wouldn't it? These are only a UK 7, but they are fire. I really like them. The Jordan options in here is mad. Oh, this. So much options. First time seeing these in person, these are fire. Like, 
I really like that. If they did those in a black and gold, I'd be all over. Warren on a train of hype, less of a night. They've got some exclusive J's. Look at these bad boys. I think they might be women's, but I would absolutely wear those. I really like them. I am on the eye for new football boots again because I've got copers, but they're laceless, and I think I want ones with laces again, so I'm keeping an eye out. I quite like those. See, there's some bigger shops like Ikea and stuff, but my Santa's taking me this way through a car park. That seems pretty stupid, I'll be honest, but let's find out if it works. So my son is telling me to walk through that wall. That doesn't work. So I'm out now. He was telling me to walk through like them bushes there. That ain't gonna happen, bro. So yeah, there's a Ikea and a Smiths and some of like the big shops that don't fit in a shopping center over the road. So I'm gonna go for a little walk to them because I've basically done everything in there in about four hours, including lunch. Like it's nearly two now and I've sort of done everything in there I wanna do. So that might give you an idea of the amount of time you might spend there when you go there. But obviously I've gone there on my own, so I'm not, I'm not going to like, shops for different people I'm, well I am because I'm doing Christmas shopping but I'm not like do you know what I mean there's not 10 people with 10 agendas it's just me and my agenda I don't like calling it an agenda but my plan at least I guess so yeah let's get across this road safely and hopefully it's some more fun to be had okay so I'm now being taken through the woods um do I trust Apple this much should I trust Apple this much okay yeah no that looks like retail food okay it's a little woods I thought it was going to be like a horror film through there, but no, we're fine. Ikea is still quite a long way away, but we're doing it now, we're committed. I'm going to make a little confession now. I don't think I've ever been to Ikea. So this is like my Ikea cherry about to get festively popped. But um, let's check it out. Why is the car park so grotesquely massive? I swear down, like the car park's so big, it's got bits to tell you where you're parked. Like that's a day. That is madness. Like, does it need that much stuff? Is it that big? I'm 28 years old, I think. Yeah, I'm just checking the maths. And I swear down, this is the biggest shop I've ever physically seen. What the hell? Let's go find out what it's like. I don't know if they've only gone in because it's the festive window display. But look at this. They've got like a whole Christmas village or a hot air balloon. They've literally got like a whole like space bedroom set up. That's so cool. One of the things that's supposed to be funny is the different names, like Snub Dig for a soft toy. There's even a little map so you can find out where they are. That's quite good. Oh, there's also some kids singing. That's a bit different. You know, it's a confusing layout when there's like signs everywhere. Shortcut to, okay, that's like a market hall. I think market hall is where they sell toys and stuff. It's like a train full of huge teddies. Shall I get another shark to go to the hammerhead shark we've got? Mate, like a little shark army. Look at these. Blavingard. Octopus. How cool are they? I keep looking at the octopus in the Town Town shop, but I haven't bought one yet. Maybe we'll eat an elephant. I'm actually going to buy one of these. It's like a little sun lounger for your phone. So you can like stand. I'm filming on my phone, so I can't show you it in it. But I'm trying to just put the phone in there and it stands up. Here's their little demonstration, look. Like. So they got a fake phone and one to show you how it works. Good idea. This is just mad, look. It's just like never ending sea of just like cheap stuff. I quite like how they've got these little displays that show you how you can set up for Christmas with a stall. This napkin is, is fantastic. According to this map, I'm not even halfway around the shop yet. That's mad. These football lights and these crown lights are quite cool. I think that one around there might be an alien. I'm not sure, but these football ones are definitely cool. I'm starving. Look at that. There's flowers everywhere. Well, fake ones. They're all artificial. I'm gonna have to try one of these 65 pence hot dogs, aren't I? 65p. This huge bit here has everything basically flat packed. So you remember what number it is or what eyelet says it's in. And then you come around here and pick it all up. A bit confusing. So that's the shots we got earlier. But they now have killer whales. For 12 pound or they have this huge shark like there's my hand for size reference for 22 i really want one but i'm not supposed to be shopping for me today i feel like i should try one of the drinks i'm probably gonna have to do it 
Ling on Berry. So we're going to be trying some IKEA stuff for the first time ever. I'm quite excited. I've got to try meatballs because that's the thing everyone says is good. But um, I want to try a hot dog. So for a hot dog meal, which is chips and a drink, um, I'm getting hot, hot dog, eight meatballs, chips and a drink for £4.50. Sounds quite good. It doesn't look that impressive, but for four quid, what can you expect? Let's find out. So I'm in the cafe and I've got my, got my phone on charge, got my power bank on charge. And even got a message which is like inviting you to use the plugs. It's not just like, oh, here they are, just use them if you want. It's like, here they are, you know. Some places just have them but don't really advertise it. So I'm using my little, my little phone chair for the first time. Um, they have their own brand of Coke. It's not good. Don't like that. No, I'm good. That's what I could do at a time. Let's try the hot dog. It's not that great either. It's about a three out of ten. Now we'll try one of the famous meatballs. This is the thing that everyone goes on about. They are actually good. Give them a 7 out of 10. And then we'll try to chip chips the same over, won't they? Oh, actually. They're really nice. I think get a 7 out of 10 as well. I don't know if IKEA is supposed to be free refills, but I tipped my Coke out and got a Lingon Berry. That's nice. Quite watery. Not overly flavoured, but very refreshing. This would be great in summer. I'm pretty sure Lingon Berry is PewDiePie's flavour of G Fuel. Let me know if anyone can confirm that. But I guess it's because it's Swedish and he's Swedish. Is that one? I've oh, worked that secret out. Huh? The other thing about it is, even though it comes out of a fountain, it's actually still. So that's quite a strange one, but it's really nice. Obviously, I've eaten a lot today, but I haven't finished the hot dog or the chips because the chips were just chips and the hot dog was just pointless. So I'm quite full, so I wasn't going to like force something down that I wasn't enjoying. But the meatballs, they are actually decent. They have lived up. I don't know if they've lived up to the hype, but they've somewhat lived up to the hype. Well, hopefully you can hear me through the wind. Now I'm on the way to Smith's and like B&M. But um, I've got one for the road. A little bit of lingonberry. But yeah, it's freezing, so it's not, it's not fun weather to be walking around in. And now I need to tie my lace. It's all going wrong. Also, Amy's picking me up when she finishes work, so in a moment of genius, I've bought a big IKEA bag, so she can't see what any of my bags are, so she can't guess her Christmas presents. Santa's taking me back to where I came, and the creepy woods don't look anywhere near as creepy in this direction, they're much more open. It's just that little end was all like tight. So yeah, nothing to fear, maybe. So I've been here a bunch of times, and I've only just realized why it's called Lakeside. There's a lake there, right next to the shopping center. Um, Smooth is over here in a different retail park, but there's a lake. That's why it's called Lakeside. That is so obvious, and I feel so stupid that I never put two or two to go. If my calculations are correct, this range is the start of this particular shopping park where Smith's is. There's a little, and they were doing this mass thing, which is 50% off the middle lot. So I'm going to check it out because little often sells Lego. So I want to also Funko Pops as well. So let's check Hopefully it out. You can hear me through the wind, but. Um, didn't film in Lidl because I got a few Christmas presents. So, we're getting there. We're starting to get there, which is good. Now going in the Smiths, and I'll be honest, the chance of me getting someone else a present in here is very slim, but the chance of getting myself something is quite high. I'm just gonna go Harry Potter stuff. This W is supposed to be like the must have thing this year. It's just chiming. Maybe the other hand. Wrestling has more than one royal family. I really need a Cody. Like in a suit, I don't have one. Look at this freezer figure. It's so cool. Yeah, I could have. Go Kuba, also. Go Gita, that's all. And then a massive, massive section of Funko Pops. They have the Ginyu Force. 
It's 60 pounds, but I've never wanted anything so hard, bad in my whole life. It's literally the whole Ginyu Force. Ginyu, oh, also a huge Pokemon section. Probably the best Pokemon section I've seen this Smiths. Might be the best Smiths I've ever been to. They have Squishmallows, and look, I can't get it all in camera. There's a huge Pikachu, it's 50 quid, but that's the coolest thing ever. Also, why is it Piplop? Who wants Piplop? But a Pikachu's So dead. I've managed to show immense willpower, and I didn't buy anything into this. I've really wanted a few things, like the Lego was cool, the, the Dragon Ball, that £60 pound Dragon Ball set with all the Ginyu Force. It's one of the ones that might get reduced like £30. Pound. If anyone sees it cheap anyway, do let me know, because I need them. Now in B&M, which might be the last stop of the day, depending on how it goes. B&M now sells Prime. They also sell the Fuel, including the Paddy Punch, Paddy Pimblet. Treat yourself to that one, it's nice. This hand soap, honestly, you can get it in Poundlands as well. Poundlands, Poundland, positive wise only it's a pound, and it's so good. It smells like shit of it, kind of. It's so good. Real Christmas trees, fifteen pounds for the the ones with the flat needles as well, which are normally more expensive. So shout out to B and M for that good deal. Someone decided against the party pong and the painkillers and got candy floss instead. Decision was made, and I approve. I do not know how much these are, but I want them. Well, don't say it, Cartman. Well, love that show. They even have Piplop Squishmallows here. I also feel like I need to bite the bullet with the Pokemon Mega Blocks. I always say, oh, once I get Mega Blocks, it's not Lego, but I think it's time. Is it? The Lego is okay, but nothing looks like. I can't live without a really good price. See, what I need is not, not these Black Panther ones, although they are actually quite cool. I need like the Dragon Ball ones at that price. Nothing I need, although I do like this four set with a mighty four. I think that's pretty cool. There's a better one here for me to film, actually. I have those all in Lego, but I don't have them in Funko format. See, they've also got a big mega box as well, and then this like expand your world bulb is all like tackling down a tree, how cool is that? Oh and there's a Zubat. I think it's time. So I'm now in Costa relaxing. That brings us to the end of the vlog. Um, also just before we finish I want to mention Ipswich Town and Liverpool are top of the league for their respective leagues. It might be the only time that happens in my entire lifetime and it might be for 24 hours because less than play tonight but really special day for me as a as a purple you know as a little boy fan it's a special special day just because of that alone um, hopefully you've enjoyed this shopping vlog there's lots of content coming lots more christmas content coming hopefully so subscribe to the channel hit the thumbs up if you want to help me get that rolex one day um all there's left to say is up in link you and my legends thank you for watching i'll see you real soon thanks so much for watching today guys if you've enjoyed that you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.